Okay, so in order for us to know what we own or what the user owns and what they don't, it's better to create a function because we're going to be using that uh, question a lot. Because for example, uh, here, we, this is not the current user's comment. This is the current user's comment, but because this comment is on the current user's post, the current user should have the right to delete this one as well. Not edit, but delete. So we have to be able to ask that question, do I own this or not? And this qualifies that I too own this. And then if I go to my profile, I have to be able to ask, do I own this, this profile, then these should show. But if I go to another person's uh, profile, these should not be able to show. So in order to do that, let's create a function to help us out. So if I go to the folder, inside classes and functions. So let's create a new function here. We only have one, but now we will have two. So we're going to call this one function I own content. And here we will supply a row of the same content. So let me save that. Let's make sure we haven't broken anything yet. Okay, that's good. So how do we know if we own something? Now that depends. Let's go to our database. So if the item is a post, we will know that we own it by the, how do we actually know? By the user ID. But if it's a profile, we will know via the user ID. Okay, same thing. However, if it's a comment, we will know by the user ID and the parent. So let's come back here and do some checking. So I'm going to say if, first of all, let's put return false so that if all fails, then it, we don't own this. So I'll say if, let's imagine this is a, um, a post. So how do we know this is a post? We will have post ID there. So we'll say if is set row post ID. So this means this is a post, okay? So how do we know that we own a post? We're going to put our stuff in there, but let's check also for gender. Let's go to users. So in here, we'll know that this is a user if gender exists. So let's start with that. So if it's set row gender, it means this is a user. So we'll just check to see if I would do this and say um, my ID is equal to so the current user's ID is saved in the server. So let's go and copy it from one of these places we've used it before and that's the, this one right there. Okay, so functions.php, yes. Okay, so that's my ID there, copy. So if this is set and my ID is equal to the row user ID, it means I own this. So I'll say return true. Great. So same thing here, if it's a post ID, I have to check uh, if this is true. So let me copy that, paste it here. 
okay so in the post if the user id uh, belongs to me then uh, true great but there's one other circumstance that uh, because comments are also comments also have this post id so if this is not true uh where is this if it's set post id okay so what we will do here is because there are two two instances where a post uh, a post or a comment can be owned by someone the first time is when the user id is the same and the other time is when the comment is posted on their post so let me just put this here we'll do this if my id is equal to pro user id then we are sure that we return that but if it isn't, let's check for the other condition. So let me come back here to my uh, table of posts. So if you look here, any post that has a parent is a comment. Okay. So in order to know if where on which post this is commented on, we'll get the parent and then use that parent to find the post ID because this parent is a post ID of the original post. So for example, this comment is a child of this one. So we get that and then we find this. And then once we find this, we can check its user ID to know who owns it, if it's the current user. So let's use get one post as we did before so i'm going to copy this from delete.php come back to the functions so i'll be like raw i'll call it one post again say one post is equal to post get one post and use the user ID, the id so here the id we're going to use is the parent so row parent Great, but we need to instantiate this. So again, let me copy from here. Copy. Paste. Okay, so get one post, we get that one post. And then what we do, we check just like we are checking here. So I'm going to copy this part and put it here. So, okay, so if my ID is equal to, so we change that to one post, user ID, then return true. Okay, so, so far, I think this is enough. Uh, let me just put here and say comments and posts or i could say yeah actually it's comment and posts and profiles okay so i own content that's our function so let me copy this and we're going to use this everywhere now so let's start with um, the profile. So profile, boom. So let's go and find where it's be saying change profile image. Where is this? Let's find it. Okay, so change profile image and then there's change oh, word wrap strikes again. So this change profile image, change cover image, right? So I want these only to show when I own the content. So what I will do here is just go to uh, 
at this point, I will put some PHP tags, close them over there, open them down here again, put the closing bracket, close the PHP tags. So I want to put an if statement here. I'll say if I own content like so, and then I will put my, uh, actually here I can do it in two ways. Let me close that. I could do it like this. That will correspond to this, or what I could do is put a full colon here. And then put end if here. Like so. Let's indent them a little bit. Okay, so if I own content, but I need to put a row in there. So I need to find the row of this profile itself. So it's user data, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one. So user data is the row for the car, the current, not the current user, but the the current profile that has been is being displayed because this is where we're getting our first name and last name. Okay, so let's check this out. All right, so as you can see here, they've disappeared, but if I go to my profile, I suspect they will be there. Very good. Okay, so that's working very well. We can use the same for edit and delete here for the posts. But the important thing is the comments. So let's go to comment.php and we are looking for edit and delete. Where is this? I would do a search. There we go. So we have the edit and we have the delete. Now the thing is, oh, I actually already have this. I own post. Hmm. It's part of the post uh, part, but I own content is more universal. So here, what I want us to do is to be able to separate the delete from the edit, and then I have to ask another question here. So I will, uh, how do I do this here? Okay, I will end it here and then cut this, come down here, Put an if statement and then paste it there so let me put the echo like so so my question here will be do i own this let me copy that there paste it put another bracket So instead of I own post, is I own content. I own content. Uh, yeah, so let's go back and uh, see what we are dealing with. So this one has three comments, good. So now, as you can see, I have edit and delete on the comment that I posted myself, but I still have delete on a comment that I did not post, but because it's on my uh, on my post, so that is great. So if I click delete here, of course I'm going to be told access denied. So let me go back here. Now we can easily fix that with the same question here. So let me copy this. If I own content, copy, and then let's go to the delete.php page. And right here where it says access denied, instead of having this uh, question here, we are going to put our own if statement like so. But here we need to put a raw. So I will have to get that because that's where we are getting our post from. So paste it. 
So let's give it another shot. Access denied. Fuck. Okay, so if I own content, then access denied. So this is wrong. So we have to put an exclamation mark here and say, if I don't own content, then access denied. Because if I leave it as it is, it means even my own comment, I will not be able to delete. So exclamation mark, refresh, click delete. And now I can delete. So nice profile picture. Let me delete that. And you see that uh, it is gone. Very good. Now we need to be able to return to the profile once I delete. Oh, no such post was found. I thought so since we deleted. So I want to be able to go to comment and after I delete this, it should take me to the profile page because this does not exist anymore. Oh, is that so? Six, eight. So let me try and delete from here. Delete. Okay, so I'm taken to a different location. All right, so we'll sort that out in a later video. But so far, so good. All right, so I will see you in the next video.